ready and I'm gone. Um, another one, hot pot jug, hot pot. Best thing ever, you put food in there, you can cook it overnight if you don't feel safe leaving it, you know, while you're gone. You can cook it overnight as you're sleeping and by the time you wake up, your food will be ready. You just turn it off, leave it, you know, there and by the time you get home, your food will be ready. I mean, this is like simple stuff, guys. Um, you can throw in a whole chicken in there and it'll be ready. That's like for your whole family right there. Everyone can eat. Now, the hardest part about paleo is for people who have to season my food. Um, obviously, if you guys look on the list, a lot of the things that, that you can't use is, you know, oil, you can't use salt, you can't use, you know, anything that has processed chemicals in it. Um, I, what I like to use is this Mrs. Gap. You can find this anywhere in a grocery store. You don't have to go to a specialty uh, store. I even found this at Sam's Club. It's a bigger bottle. Um, and it's just spices. Different spices they have different stuff. They have like a chipotle one. They have, if you like spice your stuff, they have all kinds of different combinations that you can season your meat, your chicken with it, or you just got to find the one that you like. Like I said, this was my favorite one. It's just a different blend one. Um, this one, now, this one was from Trader Joe's, and it's for basically your poultry and your steaks. Uh, I've used it on my steaks, and it works great. <coughs> great seasoning, as opposed to using seasoning salts, um, stuff that has a lot of chemicals in it. Um, for paleo, uh, if you look on the list that I've handed to you guys, uh, it mentions, you know, basically staying away from bread, staying away from fats, from sugar, from, you know, fruit, depending. You can do fruit, but it all depends on you. If your purpose for this is to lose weight, you want to limit your fruit, okay? Although paleo, uh, fruit is paleo, you want to stay away from it if your goal is to lose weight because you will lose weight a lot slower when you're eating fruit, when you're eating nuts, when you're eating a lot of fat. Um, not that you can't, you can, but the reason is because it has sugar and it has fat. You're still putting that food in your mouth even though it's a healthy version of it. You're putting it in your system, so your body is going to take a lot longer to lose that weight. So if your goal is to lose weight, you want to stay away from, you know, the fats and the sugars. Although they are paleo, like I said, you could. But just try and limit it. Um, another thing, peanuts. If you're going to be eating nuts, stay away from peanuts. I know it doesn't really say it on the list, but peanuts are uh, legumes. So they do hold a lot of inflammation. They will make you fat. So try to stay away from them. Cashews. Um, if you guys turn to the third page, there's a list of good nuts that you want to eat. Like for example, macadamia nuts are high in uh, omega fats, which is good fat. Um, almonds are in the middle. They're good, but they're not the best. Obviously, the better quality are like macadamia nuts. Some might say pistachios. Um, they're different stuff. Brazilian nuts. You gotta find what's good for you. And those are great things that you can have in your car for when you're on the road. Um, the thing that you do not want to do is go out your house without having any, anything or without having any healthy snacks on hand. If you know you're gonna be out and about all day, prepare yourself. Buy a, a pack of raw almonds or uh, carrots or something that you can have with you when you're carrying it around because the danger zone is when you're hungry and you have nothing to eat. Because what's gonna happen when you start and get to that point where you're really hungry, you're starving, there's nothing around, you're gonna pull over to the nearest fast food place and you're just gonna get whatever. So, you know, really kind of prepare yourself for when you're gonna be out and about. Um, not everyone can prepare pre-prepped their meals um, if you are going to stop at a fast food joint, what I recommend is going for the healthier choice. It is a lot better than just stopping and getting whatever's on the menu. Um, for those of you that are on the road all the time, you're driving or you're, you know, that's your commute, you can go ahead and stop. And if you get a lot of fast food, go for the protein, you know, just get a lettuce wrap, whatever. It could be a lettuce wrap sandwich. A lettuce wrap burger. Um, stay away from the sauces, no ketchup. Um, you can do mustard, 
but the sauces carry a lot of corn syrup. So if you're a person that loves ketchup, uh, Thousand Island and all that stuff, uh, just check the back of it and if it has corn syrup, you wanna stay away from it. Mustard does not, so you can you know, put mustard on your burger, but if you are gonna swap out a fast food, a lot of them, pretty much all of them, um, offer that protein choice, no bread, you could just ask it, you know, it, they can do it on the lettuce wrap for you, and they most likely will. Um, for liquids, um, you can do coffee when you're on paleo, but it has to be black. Um, you can do tea, but stay away from the sugar, stay away from all that stevia, the, um, what is it, sweet and low, or all the, the artificial sweeteners, those are bad for you. Coconut syrup? You can do coconut creamer, yes, um, it is paleo, you can also do almond milk. However, if you're doing the challenge and your goal is to lose weight, you gotta be careful with that because you're still adding fat to your coffee. Um, you can do raw sugar, I mean raw honey, I'm sorry. Um, you can do raw honey on your coffee, but just know that you're still adding sugar to your coffee, to your tea, um, and that's all the stuff that's just gonna slow down your process of losing weight. But um, if for you, you need to have coffee, but you just cannot do it black, taper yourself down. You know, add that coconut creamer, add that almond milk, add that raw honey, but just limit yourself to it. You know, just have one a day, and you know, eventually stop tapering down. What I did with Ivan, he's, he used to have coffee all the time, but he would have like a ton of sugar and milk, whole milk. Um, I bought honey and started putting honey in, and then little by little he started adding less and less, so eventually now he's doing straight to black. You know, it's just stuff that you have to get used to. Water, water is pretty much the only thing you can have. Make that your best friend. There's a lot of people that do not drink enough water as they should, but the benefits of water are great. You know, water helps you flush out all the toxins, all the fat. When you're burning fat, water helps you flush it out, so you're gonna be seeing it a lot. So if you don't drink enough water, you're not flushing it out, you're not flushing out the toxins. So you gotta drink plenty of water. And like I said, it helps you with your skin. Um, if you suffer from acne and stuff like that, water is the best thing that you can do. Um, for some people that you know can't tolerate water, you can do tea. But again, try and drink as much water as possible. Tea, coconut water is great. But again, coconut water has a lot of sugar in it, even though it's natural sugar it still does have a lot of sugar in it and fat content. So if all you're doing is coconut water, you know, don't expect the weight to melt off. All this stuff is paleo, guys. But like I'm saying, if you're doing it for the challenge and that's your goal to lose weight, just notice those little things that you're adding onto your life. If you're just doing this for, you know, trying to live healthier, perfectly fine, you know, taper down a little bit, just you know, take it easy, um, still have certain fats that you are gonna indulge yourself with like a couple of nuts, a handful of nuts, that's completely fine. But just know that if you get stuck at a certain weight or at a certain size, or you know, you wanna see more difference in your appearance, those things that you're having that you're indulging yourself, for example, um, if you indulge yourself in those paleo desserts, you know, you're making a lot of pancakes or you're baking a lot of sweet goods, it's still paleo, but at the same time, you're still having a lot of fat. So your weight is not gonna come off as easily. You're not gonna shape down. You're not gonna tone down as fast, as you know, quickly as other people are because they're taking that out of their diet. But if you're just making this a lifestyle, that's completely fine. That's how I started. You know, I started out having lots of fruit because I didn't just wanna snack on vegetables. I had lots of fruit had you know lots of almond butter with bananas with apples and that was my snack and um i noticed like yeah i was losing weight and then i got stuck at a certain spot and then after that i was just like why am i losing so much weight as you know other people started doing more research it's like well you know i'm having a lot of sugar and that's my problem because i'm a sugar addict i love sweets so i was having a lot of you know paleo packets of bacon, you know, paleo rings all the time, having all those muffins, but that was how it got me through in order not to grab that, you know, chocolate bar, in order not to have that cupcake. It helped me, but then once I wanted to reach a certain goal,
pull at a certain weight or to that certain size, that's when I had to, you know, stay away from the fruit, stay away from all the sweets, all the raw honey and everything before I used to dip my strawberries in honey. And that's me with healthy, it's paleo, but at the same time, like I said, I was not dropping down to what my goal was. Once I let go of all that, then I started seeing major results. Then I got down to the weight that I really wanted to be. And it's a lot harder because for a person that loves sugar, you know, you're always craving sugar. And if you're, you know, depriving yourself of fruit, you're always going to go with you know, like everything is just as good. But that's what I had to do in order to get to what I, where I wanted to be. And once I ended that challenge and I got to where I wanted to be, I started to slowly, gradually, gradually adding some fruit to my diet, limiting it, uh, limiting it to one a week, you know, or only one fruit a day, but, you know, as opposed to having that for my breakfast every single day. You know, so really be realistic to what your goals are going to be. Um, if your goal is to just adapt this as your lifestyle, then go easy on yourself. Don't, you know, um, go that extreme where you're depriving yourself so much of everything that in the end you just get tired and you're just gonna say, fuck it, I'm just gonna go for that burger. You know, if you're craving some sort of sweet, go for that apple with almond butter. I'd rather you do that than go out and grab a cupcake or a donut or, you know, something. If you're craving salt, I'd rather you grab a cucumber, cut it up, put some lemon and salt in it. Sea salt is okay. Um, a little bit of sea salt and that will take away that craving um, for you. You know, there's options out there that you can do as opposed to going for the chips, going for the stuff. And like I said, do not starve yourself. Do not wait to that point where you're starving that you're just going to grab the easiest thing. Um, I know on the guide it says, you know, to empty out your pantry uh, before you start this. And that is smart. You know, you want to eliminate everything that's going to tempt you away from your house. But realistically, if you have kids, that's nearly impossible. I have kids, and I buy bread for them. I have the Pop-Tarts, I have the chips, and all that stuff. But I know, like, okay, I have that for them, but I have my snacks as well. I have, you know, my chocolate-covered almonds. I have my almonds there, or I have my fruit on hand just in case I'm at the point where I need something I have that access as opposed to grabbing a bag of chips. So always have something that you can go to in order for you not to go to that extreme where you're just gonna cheat and have that bad meal or that bad snack. Um, be smart. When you go shopping, always get that thing that's easy for you to make. You know, um, For myself, I buy, it's already pre-made, it's called a Chilla Verde. And it has, it's a box, it's already pre-made uh, pork, and it's in chili sauce. All I have to do is put it in the microwave, and it's done. It's cooked with, you know, natural sauces and stuff. So I know that if one of the days I didn't make food and I have nothing to do, I can easily put that in the microwave and I have food, as opposed to going out, you know, and or just going home and not having anything to eat, and then just going for, you know, the cheap stuff or going out to fast food places and, you know, um, grabbing something back. So always have in your refrigerator something that you know you can go to if you do not, if you're not prepared or you don't have time to go home and cook. So, you know, be prepared with that. Yeah, about the sodium. The sodium, um, a lot of the books that you look into says no salt at all. There's some that you look into and they say sea salt is okay. Um, the sodium content on some of them are gonna be high. Like if you're looking at the lean cuisine ones, those are high. So you gotta look to make sure that the sodium content is not high. The one that I get does not have um, high sodium in it and it's okay. If you're exercising, you're gonna need some sort of salt in your food. You're gonna need a little bit of sugar. If you're exercising, for example, like you know, Ivan and Mondo and myself that are constantly exercising, we do need a lot of fat in our, in our diet, but you don't want to overcompensate like, oh, I can have this because I'm exercising. Remember, 
Um, your goal is to lose weight, so don't get in that mind frame like, I'm exercising so I can have this. But at the same time, don't starve yourself to the point where, oh, I can't have it, and you're feeling weak because you're not eating enough for your workout. So you guys are still exercising, so you still need to have that fuel to you know, come and exercise and have that strength. So if you feel when you come in, you might feel a little weak like the first two, three days, and that's fine, that's completely normal. Um, but if you still feel hungry, eat. But eat good stuff. A lot of the people that um, come in, it's like, I can't do paleo because I feel so weak. And you know, I, I'm hungry constantly. And then I'm like, well, what are you eating? Or how much are you eating? And they're like, well, I'm only eating, you know, breakfast and lunch. And my dinner was like at three or five in the afternoon. And it's like, okay, well, if you're hungry, how come you're not eating more? It's okay to eat more because like I said, you're exercising, so your body's burning through the food more. Uh, it's doing it faster because you're eating natural stuff. As opposed to, you know, when you eat bread, or pizza, you kind of you eat that and you're not hungry for hours. And that's the purpose of what that food does. It's, it's not natural food, so your body's not digesting it as fast, so you don't get hungry as often. So when you're eating natural food, your body's gonna digest it faster, so you're gonna be hungry more. So that's why you need to eat a little bit more in order to satisfy your needs and not feel hungry. So if you're only having like a fistful of meat and you're still hungry, add a little bit like a little bit more, a bigger piece, or add more vegetables, or add an avocado, or some sort of fat, a couple of nuts. You know, for some people like myself, I don't like to drink water while I'm eating, but I find that if I've had my meal and I and I'm not I'm not full yet, as soon as I drink water, I'm full. I, you know, that's all I need in order to get full. So um, just be aware that if your body is telling you like, no, I'm not quite full cool yet, you still need to feed me a little bit more, go for it or try a little bit of water or try, you know, um, an avocado and you'll be satisfied. You'll notice that difference. There's also a difference between being satisfied and overstuffing yourself, okay? You can eat and be like, that was good, I'm not hungry right now. Um, there are some people that don't have that control where they're like, where you're at the point where like, I don't need to eat anymore, I'm good. The stuff that's gonna help is gonna be the, the fats. And that's where you get it from the nuts, the avocados, the oils. So just add a, add a sliver more and just know that you'll be more satisfied with your food if you're not having enough of just meats and vegetables. Um, the fats will definitely help you with that. Um, the coconut water does have fat in it, so that will satisfy you. Um, in order to feel full, in order to feel satisfied, like, okay, I'm done, I don't need to eat anymore. Um, so just be aware of that as well. Um, let me see what else. I kind of print out my notes. Sorry. Um, if we go to our shopping list, if you uh, notice on the protein side, obviously it tells you to try and shop with what's organic, grass-fed, all-natural stuff. For myself, I found that to be a little too pricey, um, a lot of work, because you have to go out, you know, looking for those specialty stores and Trader Joe's. Luckily, I live close to the Sprouts, so I do have that option, but sometimes it's like a little stick my kids in. That's not gonna fill anywhere, <laughs> especially for a family of four. Um, so, if your goal is to full paleo and extreme, go for it, you know, you can do it. But for myself, for my family, I didn't find that very realistic, very efficient for me. Something that I can stick to. So I still go out and I will shop at Ralph's and get the family pack. Something that's not organic, it's not grass fed, yet it's still something that's natural. You know, um, if I can, for example, if I find, you know, those meats that are on sale, I will buy them. But that's not, I don't make that a priority. 
Now, if your goal is to do full paleo and be that extreme and, and, and really um, go organic, clean eating, go for it, you know, go to Trader Joe's and, and buy only grass fed, you will see better results. Believe me, you will see, you will lean out a lot more. But again, like I said, that was not for me, for my, you know, my goals. I didn't see that as necessary. I'm still, you know, giving myself the vitamins, the good foods, but I'm just not going, you know, to that extreme. Um, so there is two, two sides to paleo. There's the extreme side where all you're eating is organic stuff, organic vegetables, organic fruit, organic nuts, and that's completely fine. If you can do that, go for it. You know, I recommend it, it's a lot better. But if you can't, it's okay. It's a lot better than eating processed food. That's not even food. So the thing about paleo is you're better off eating stuff that's grown. So even if you're eating vegetables out of a bag, it's completely fine. But make sure that you're eating stuff that's natural, um, that's not processed, that's not chemically made, like tofu, for those of you that were or are at some point some kind of vegetarian. Um, tofu, soy, all that stuff is chemically made. That's not food. It's scientifically made. So you're, what you're feeding your body is just chemicals. So it's not food. So your body doesn't know what to do with it. It doesn't digest it as opposed to something that your body was meant to be eaten. You know, like uh, real meat, animal fat, plants. All that stuff was, your body was designed that's why they call this the caveman diet, because this is what our ancestors used to find, this is what they used to hunt for in order to survive, was natural food. Back then, obviously, there was no processed stuff. There was no, you know, mills that can grain, that could mill, that could grain the, all the grains and make it into bread. They didn't have any of that stuff. So that's why they would go out and hunt and get all the natural food, and you didn't see any of these people back then because that's what they had. They had to work for their food. Um, and that's why, you know, the whole paleo concept came about, eat like a caveman. You know, back then they didn't have the, the oils. Back then they didn't have all the stuff that we have accessible to us now. Um, now you can find everything in the store that's already pre-made. And it's dangerous because obviously in our life now, it's all about go, 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 and just grab what's easy. You know, grab what is on hand and I can eat and go and not have to worry about food. But again, we're damaging ourselves. We're, you know, at the point where our generation is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And we're passing it on to our kids. Um, sad for me is, you know, I try to live this lifestyle, but my kids are not quite there yet. You know, if that's what you want to do for your kids, start cooking more. And I teach them about it. Like, hey, let's do, let's eat this, let's eat our vegetables, and let's, you know, eat our meats, let's eat healthy. But at some point, they're gonna make their own choice whether they wanna eat it or not, you know. Um, I make sure I eat good, and I tell them about it, but at the end of the day, they're gonna be like, well, I want to have pocket. And I, I will do it, because I know when they grow up, they're gonna see how much we, you know, take care of ourselves, and then they're gonna make that choice. I'm hoping that they do, but when I cook, I cook what, what I have, and if they want to eat it, they eat it, and if they don't, I'm not going to make anything else for them. So um, that's some choice that you guys have to make as well. For your family, um, if you guys can do that, convince them, that's fine. But for myself, my parents never taught me, you know, breakfast. Breakfast with cereal. So I, for years, I was used to just having cereal or a piece of cake and milk. But it was okay because I had milk. So I was getting my nutrients. But really, like you're feeding your child cake for breakfast, you're giving no nutrients to your body. The most important meal of the day is breakfast. And I can't stress it enough to people like, oh, well, I'm not hungry in the morning. Neither was I. That's what I was used to. For years, when I went to high school, it was like I grabbed a hot pocket or I grabbed uh, crackers or anything that I had, and that was my meal on the go. And that would last till three in the morning, I mean, three in the afternoon till I got home to have a home cooked meal. 
that was not healthy at all. So even though, you know, I was a teenager and I was at my leanest, it was all fat, like really all I had was fat, but I had no nutrients. But that's what my parents would do, they were on the go as well. And um, the easiest thing you could do for yourself in order to live you know, this paleo lifestyle is have hard boiled eggs. You're, having, you're giving yourself some sort of protein, and that's what you need in the morning in order to fuel your brain, in order to fuel your body to keep going the rest of the day, some sort of protein. Even if it's a piece of ham that you just grab from the fridge, some sort of protein, and that's what I'm trying to instill in my kids. It's like, before you have anything bad and you go to school and have some cereal, I give them at least a little piece of ham or some sort of sandwich or something, like some sort of protein. If um, you can't have any of that, some, I have had some questions about protein shakes and protein, you know, meal replacements, and that's okay. I'd rather you have that than no protein at all. Um, but you do have to be careful with the kind of proteins that you get because they do have a lot of sugars. They have a lot of additives like chemicals and all that stuff. So read the label, guys. If it has, you know, isolates and all these weird chemicals that you can't pronounce, most likely it's not healthy for you. But um, some of them, if you notice, they have milk, they have soy, or they'll say uh, it's natural, but it has soy in it, or it has rice milk, or some sort of you know, non-paleo stuff, stay away from it. Um, there's a lot of them out there that are pretty healthy. They are a little bit pricier, but you know, it's quality. Um, you will notice a difference. But like I said, I'd rather you have some sort of food as opposed to protein, but at least some sort of protein if that's not applicable to you. Grab some sort of protein. Hard boiled eggs are the easiest thing. Um, that's what we do. You know, we boil like 20 eggs and then we just have them ready. It, as a snack as well. That's something that you have for a snack. Um, other things that you can have that you can carry with you are a can of tuna. Tuna bags. <laughs> you know, if you need some sort of a <laughs> If you need some sort of snack to have with you, tuna is great. And um, let me see what else. Fruit, I mean, you can have it in the car. Uh, nuts, vegetables. You can have uh, cucumbers with you. You can have uh, spinach, doesn't taste that great. But it is something that you could have. Uh, let me see what else. Um, carrots obviously are the easiest. Celery, you can do celery and almond butter if you need some sort of like food to go with it. That's another kind of snack that you can make. Uh, for breakfast, don't try and make it like, at breakfast has to be eggs, breakfast has to be this. For myself, what I found was the easiest my breakfast for my leftovers. I will make enough food for dinner that I have leftovers for my breakfast. So if for dinner I have fish, that was my breakfast the following day. Um, same thing for Ivan. Whatever we had leftovers, that was our breakfast or that was our lunch. So don't get in that 